These are all my broadheads. I've got a mix of Slick Trick Viper Tricks, um, Grim Reaper Expandables, pretty much all big game, elk especially. I'm using the Slick Trick Viper Trick. That is this little guy right here. Uh, blades lock in there really nice. It flies really well. I've never had an issue with trying to get my field points to group with my broadheads. As long as I paper tune good, um, these things always fly great. They're pretty quiet in the air too compared to some other broadheads. This one right here is one of my practice broadheads. You never want to shoot a practice broadhead at an animal because they're not as sharp. You know, I've shot this probably 20 times just today into foam and it's kind of lost its, its edge. And so when it's in my little broadhead box, to make sure that I don't throw it on a hunting broadhead, I take a black Sharpie and just color all over it. And the Sharpie actually stays on there pretty good even after like 20 shots, so a little tip there. All right, next little tip. Uh, anytime you're using, you know, field point, broadhead, whatever, you know, you shoot it into the target or you just have it in your quiver, if the thing unturns even like a 16th of an inch, it's gonna rattle and make noise. And one way to prevent that is to put some bowstring wax right on the end there, and just a little bit. You don't wanna like put a bunch of weight into your broadhead or your field point. Just put a little, little dab on there and put that into the arrow and that will keep your broadhead or field point in the arrow. It'll prevent it from rattling and prevent it from uh, wiggling loose. I'm just gonna basically dip this or scrape off a little bowstring wax right on to the end there. It's just a little bit, just a little guy. And then take my arrow, twist her in, and you can actually feel it. It feels like there's just a little bit of tension there and it's like not gonna loose and not gonna come rattling out on you. So I actually learned this little tip from my buddy Brett Sang.